Hello friends, welcome back to the Luna Galaxy. We are coming in with a new game that is launching today. This game is called Tavern Talk. I want to thank the the dev team at Gentle Troll Entertainment as well as them being the creator and Future Friends is the development a publisher company, I'm sorry, that reached out to me, that uh, reached out for me to showcase this game. And like I said, this game came out today over on Steam. You can get it, um, the demo also, if you would like. And I don't know the exact uh, price of the game because I received this game a week in advance and I'm recording it a week in advance, but I am showcasing it on the day it comes out. Um, and they don't have the price on there right now from what I'm looking at Steam. So I will put the link down below of where you can go uh, check out the Steam page and also the website of the the game that we're going to be playing tavern talk so about the game it is a 2d cozy visual novel in high fantasy setting um it has catchy dialogues you do drink mixing and a lot of pnp humor inspired by coffee talk monster prom and dungeons and dragons you play the tavern owner the most uh, beloved NPC of every RPG ever made. You listen to stories of boasting glory, utter failure. You pick up rumors, gather quests, assign them to the next best adventurer, and make sure they come back alive by mixing them the right potions. You uncover the truth about an old evil that threatens the land. Will you pull your strings and save the day? This is a play, uh, you play as a tavern owner. It is LGBTQIA plus positive. It has engaging story, meaningful choices, deep characters, magical drink mixing, and gathering rumors and forging new quests for your patrons. This is on console as well as Nintendo Switch, and more consoles are going to be announced. Currently, it is on PC through Steam. And like I said, developer Gentle Troll Entertainment. It is located out of, out of Würzburg, Germany. And so we are getting this lovely game, Tavern Talk. And like I said, it does have a D&D Dungeon & Dragons inspired fantasy. So I'm really excited about this game. You can use Xbox controller and you can use PlayStation controller. This game is under the genre of adventure, casual indie, and simulation. And again, it is dropping today, the, the live of this video, June 20th, 2024. So I have not played it at all. Like I said, I did get the game. Um, a week in advance and I I am playing it now but could not release it until uh, game day drop which I'm perfectly fine with so we're gonna go ahead and get into tavern talk and it's so cute especially if you play fantasy games especially tabletop games like um, Dungeons and Dragons you're going to pull in to so much of this detail all right, so you have the option to she, her, he, him, they, them. So that is nice. It did say it was LGBTQ friendly. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it play for you. In a realm ruled by dragons and magic. Well, actually it was this land specifically. Not that far away. Uh, let me start over. Once upon a time, somewhere in Gaia, not that far away, there was a tavern. My tavern. A place for anyone looking for an adventure or a quick refreshment. A place open to everybody. Even jackdaws, I suppose. But I'm not just your typical innkeeper. My drinks are infused with magic to aid ambitious adventurers on their quests. To make sure they always return victorious. Big shoes to fill, I know. Then again, what's the worst that could happen? That's usually how it always starts. What's the worst that could happen? When you hear what's the worst that could happen, it gets you every time. Hiya, Innkeep. How's it going? All fine and dandy. Can't complain. How about you, Fable? All fine and dandy. 
Yes, y'all, yes, yes, all fine and dandy. I, I had such an exciting day, really, really exciting. Did you go on an adventure? Even better, I took a walk around the grove and then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster or a mushroom mimic, maybe a gnome. Did it? No, but I gotta take another walk around the grove. How was it? Great, I gotta see the same stones, the same trees. The same amaranth hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon? The same moss? I even got the water the asters? They didn't really need it, but I was there, so... Sounds very exciting. Who am I kidding? My life is exciting as a roasted nut. Nuts are healthy. Very thrilling in sauces or as a snack. There are various types of nuts. Walnuts, peanuts, hazelnuts. I'm allergic! Oh. I, I didn't know that. Oh, no worries. I mean, I never told you. And hey, at least something would happen if I ate a nut. Just something very funny. Anaphylactic shock and all of that? Does that count as an adventure? No. I think that counts as a mistake. So what you're saying is that you're missing some spice. Oh, no, 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 no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chilies would help me much. Though I'm very good at growing phoenix chilies. I was talking about the spice in your life. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. Well, yes, yes, exactly. That's it. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no dragons. Just a lot of salt. I'm, I'm like bland soup. So a classic case of boredom, I see. Do you know what feeling when nothing exciting is going on in your life? Like life isn't bad, but also not particularly fun. Um, let's try, let's try adding some zest to your soup. Huh? Drama, buzz, excitement, something fiery. Go to the theater or gala, arrive in a hot air balloon? A hot air balloon? Don't they fly up really high? Yes, I think that's the point. Ah, I'm afraid of heights and of people and of actors. But apart from that, I'm trying. I tried singing. But what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things if I never lived through anything? What do you mean? Well, a day in and day out, I live the same green soup of routines. Sure, I have my forest and I look after, but I want to get out there and, and see something. Like, for example, mm, listen to the song I started writing. I wish to be a hero slaying mighty drakes. I wish to be, I wish to meet a pretty nymph resting by the lakes. A pretty nymph? That's pretty daring. That sounds like a good song opening to me. Oh really, you think so? Well, perhaps it has a nice flow to it, but nothing actually happens in it because all I do is sit around and wish for things to happen. I don't even know what nymphs do. I've never met one. Taxes maybe? No, no, I don't think so. I would love to sing about the exciting, magical things I encounter. But to be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. So we got a character information about Fable. Not a lot of songs you can write about that. I wouldn't mind a jingle. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? I'd prefer if you didn't. Okay, maybe one day I'll get to offer them their own jingle. In the meantime, can I offer you a drink? Yes, I love a drink. The usual? Yes, please. That means a swift strike in case you forgot. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. It's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a feather-light nymph floating on the waves of a sunny lake. Do you want to be with a nymph or 
be the nymph. <laughs> Both? But mostly, I want a swift strike. Message received. Although, although, I was wondering. I've been coming to your tavern for so long, and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? All right, we're gonna go through the tutorial. <laughs> really? Yes. What should I do? Do I need to put on an apron or summon a familiar? How do I summon a familiar? Just follow me. All right, that was a very cute start to the game. All right, welcome to my drink mixing nook. So this is what it looks like to be back here. Hello, Andu. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Where do we start? Well, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want. To make sure I don't forget what they order, I take notes in my journal. Let's have a look. All right, so we have an order. Um, this is a Frosted Lagoon. We pinned her order, the Swift Strike. Um, so this is her log. When I'm sure I know what, when I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Can't you just freehand mix something to see what sticks? No, I like to mix and match for a more varied results, but the right balance is crucial, so I stick to my recipes. When I've settled on one, I can use the chalk to draw it on the board. What if you pick the wrong one? I can either erase it with a sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored on the five bottles on the right. All right, so those are the five bottles. Those are super cool. Oh my, the detail is so adorable. I love it. That's dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any other reason, I can simply feed my mistake to Andu. Aw, lucky little guy. Once I'm done, I ring the bell to activate the primordial vor vortex. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magical details. Just try making a drink. You've got this. Okay, so we want to make a swift strike. So that's what I have to draw. Okay, so do I draw it here? Wait, I'm so confused. Be a leaf on the wind with a swift strike. This must have for an dexterity devoted adventure grants you agility, speed, and remarkable accuracy. Oh, and tasty drink with an order this delicious shall exceed any dwarf's kill count. Okay, so that's what I draw. So, which one's dexterity? Uh, I drew it. So I need. <laughs> I don't understand. I need that to go there. Oh God. <laughs> Did I do it right? That kind of looks like that. That wasn't right. Okay, so I need... Pull that there. Pull that to the side a bit. Oh, I did it! Yes! Okay. 
Okay, so you have to pour, when you hover over these, this purple circle on the left lights up to what it is. And then you have to try and get it as close to the center chalk. And then you can ring the bell. We did it. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course it does. What did you think was happening? I thought you were just going just very good at sleight of hand. I see. Well, give your creation a taste. That's delicious. I made that. You made that. Thank you for showing me the ropes. Thank you for your enthusiasm. These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they be the end of you? Maybe, but how would I know if I never try? Do you actually want to try? Well... Yes, I want to tell great stories, but, but what? Never mind. Okay. We have a new character in that does not say much. How can I help you? A drink. For you? Right. What kind? Drinkable. Very specific. Thank you. How about a spoken heart? So charisma couldn't hurt? Sure. Whatever. All right, so he wants a spoken heart. All right, so. It's very similar to the other one that we did. Just a tad. Oh, I think, oh, no, 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 no. That was too much. Uh, that still might be too much. Yeah, it's probably still too much. Yeah, that's... Okay. Which one was it? This one. Alright, so there's the top of that one. Let's do the point. There we go. Okay, so there was none of that. That works for me. Ooh, that's a pretty drink. This should be dis digestible, maybe even tasty. Thanks. Almost washes away the memories of that banshee haunting the lonesome lagoon at night. And her bone-shattering song of sorrow. Almost. Alright, rumor unlocks song of bones and water. Alright, the brooding type, I see. What are you thinking about, Fable? Just dreams. Yours or someone else's? Mine. Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand, that I'm running away from where I belong. We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods, like the stream that ripples down the mountain. Or the birds in the trees. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. And is that what you want to do? Yes. N no, not really. I want to experience things outside of the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure. Boredom will feel like bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for that same freedom. Of course I could never leave Ashan Grove behind, forever. It's my home. But there's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my brother looks after the grove, as well as my sisters. I think it'd be fine without me. Then you should do what your heart desires. Will it stop aching then? I think so. Yes. What if? It's wrong to leave though. What if destiny never meant for me to leave? What if it did? That would be a dream come true. Be your own genie, Fable. Your adventures start with you. Thank you, Innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. So they have a very nice, nice, friendly connection. I like that with them. Ooh, hello there. 
Handsome brute. Greetings, traveler. How may I help you? You own this establishment and keep? Last time I checked. Hmph. With whom do I have the pleasure? The name's Curlin. You can call me Seer or Lynn. Couldn't care less. I probably mispronounced that. I'm sorry. Nice to meet you, Lynn. What can I do for you? Perhaps something to drink? You do the thing with the quest, right? So they say. Do you want one? You can have a look at my rest my notice board. Ugh, no. No quest for me. But I have one for you. Or your notice board. Tell me more. Head of a werewolf making trouble up in Trigon. Terroriz terrorizing farmers. Tearing sheep apart. The whole program. A werewolf? That's new to me. Listen, me too. Didn't see one in almost a decade. And that was far south of Erove? Been wondering if it's the same one. Just hop most moving up. Like a nomad. I thought the werewolf hype died along with that one romance novel. Ugh, you mean the one with the vampires? I think so. Nah, that just split society into two camps. Team werewolf or team vampire. Which one are you in, Keep? Ugh, I don't like either one of them. <laughs> oh my goodness, which one am I? I'm gonna say team vampire. Ah, so you're into the fangs, are ya? An innkeep never tells. You are you little rascal, I like you. Likewise, what about you? Vampires. Why? The werewolf's too close to my skin, and yeah, I'd rather stay away from them. Is that why you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yes. No. I'm just afraid he might look a little too much like my Uncle Dragon. Would feel bad slaying that fella. You know, hunched back, hairy, crooked teeth. Is that a werewolf or just Uncle Dra Dragon? Sorry, I thought it said dragon. Um, you can't tell. Same fate, Bethel on Ogle. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, that hag had it coming. Never fall behind your grooming schedule before you know it. The next wannabe Van Helsing will strike you down with a silver arrow. Do the Van Helsing also hunt werewolves? Eh, don't know. Don't care enough to check. Either way, that southern werewolf, yeah? Right, anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly. Fetch. Pardon me? Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. That works? On any dog, trust me. Good to know. Thanks, Lynn. It's not that hard either. Uh, we're gonna say Lynn. Alright, Chief. You got a name or is it just Inkeep? Just Inkeep for now. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, Inkeep then, before I venture on, you've got a drink for me? Of course. What would you like? I'll take something powerful. Something with a whole lot of strength. And don't you dare give me any of that watered-down muck instead. Alright, so he wants something with strength. Uh, what is this? Protects you from physical and spiritual. Great ideas, even greater stories. Isn't strength that one? Wait a minute, which one is strength? Is this the red one strength? the southern brawler okay that's what i was looking for i was like okay oh gotta learn my symbols oh crap i forgot to draw it wait i'm going the wrong way <laughs> that's not the right one i wanted that one i was like wait a minute so is that right okay my bad <laughs> There's that one. Tad bit of that one. There we go. <laughs> A drink with zero water as requested. Not bad, just what I was craving. Thanks. Where will your where will you head from here? 
Haps back west through the uh, Ashan Grove got some business to take care of. What kind of business? Personal business. Care, care to elaborate? No. But you won't stop asking until I do, will you? No. My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. Obviously, I'm pretty sure she's hallucinating. But I did hear some folk complaining about an undead uh, uptick in the West, so might as well humor her and make sure she hasn't turned into an undead snail herself. Something like that. Yeah. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead. It's certainly unconventional. That's one way to put it. I think there's not much as digging in the past. It's just going to open wounds you, you stapled shut. Or eat your face. The past haunts everyone willing to listen. Hmm. Would you mind talking like a normal person? I ain't exactly up for philosophizing. You started this conversation, and I'm ending it. All right, well then. If you find any more rumors for me or, or need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf and don't do groups, but sure, for more work, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into a proper quest, right? Don't want them to go to waste. Um, yeah, let's figure out how to do this. All right, we're going to go through the tutorial of the quest. Um, this is where I sort all the rumors I've collected. I also keep them written down in the journal so I don't forget. I think the best next step would be sorting the matching snippets on your quest page. Just drag them over and make sure they're all the same quest. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing adventurers. Once you're done, select the quill of yours and we'll, we'll write them up. Got it? Got it. Thank you for your help. Put it on my tab. That's not how that works. Good night to you too. All right, then let's assemble this quest. All right, so a werewolf. Um, these two go together. Use a mob undead. All right, so those are a quest. Uh, Erectivent Vakuken passed by the Werewolfians Inn, reporting a werewolf making their way up to Trigon with Evera. The pose a potential threat to both hopeless, helpless sheep and the villagers. Apparently, werewolves love playing fetch. Are you brave enough to take on the quest and save? Alright, so that one's done. And then use them out of- wait, that's the only one we had. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Are we cleaning up shop? I'm kind of hoping there's not that much talking during, like, the game. Like, that was, like, the beginning part. I'm hoping there's not that much talking. Like, I want to make... I want to make the drinks. I want to do that. Like, I get that we have to get information. But I hope it's it's very quick talking and not long, long conver conversations. Oh, excuse me. I keep... I got the hiccups. Severely have the hiccups. Um, act one, the Wayfarer's End. Um, two, Prelude to Bravery, 58th of the week. We're going to start this day. So far, it's very cute, very cozy. The detailing and, like, I really, really like it. Oh, she's taking the quest? Fable. What do you have here, Fable? I found this on your notice board. It says, Werewolf is terrorizing Trigarian. Is that true? It is indeed. Have you sent anyone after it yet? Maybe that hooded guy from yesterday? Not yet. What kind of hero are you, um, <laughs> looking for? One who knows their way around difficult terrain woods even. Preferably one who is good with a bow. One who tells me they want the quest. Ah, I'm good with a bow. Yes, Fable. And I know my way around the any woods. I know Fable. And, and, maybe I want the quest. Just maybe? No, 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 not just maybe. Since yesterday, all I've been able to think about is you telling me how to follow my heart. And then I step into your tavern and the quest practically jumps at me. And I think, hey, there's a start for an adventure. It's near a forest. You know forest. You live in a forest. And werewolves are basically just normal wolves, but slightly scarier. Because they're also human, but you've talked to humans before. And you got silver arrows for your birthday last year, and they're just collecting dust in your room. And, 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 
And I thought I could ask you if anyone had taken it yet. And then? I didn't think that far ahead. I see. Or rather, I did, but then I thought, what if I take the quest, then I have to go on the quest. And I have to fight the werewolf or talk to the werewolf, which is worse. Because what if the werewolf doesn't like me? And what if when I try to shoot it with a silver arrow, I miss and shoot a tree instead, and then the tree would be mad at me. But it wouldn't really matter because I'm dead because of the werewolf. That took a quick turn. So maybe I should put the quest back. Fable. Yes. Do you want me to tell you to take the quest? Maybe. I can't make this decision for you. Neither can I! Whenever I have to make a difficult decision, it's like I freeze in place. And suddenly, I'm unable to move until someone makes the decision for me. Like, like a slime. A frozen slime. A frozen slime that can't move. I've met slimes less anxious than you. You've met slimes? My tavern is open to everyone. Oh, right. What do slimes drink? Water. More slime. Bones. You sell bones? Only to slimes. Ah, maybe you'll be able to add my bones to your menu soon. You'll just have to pick them up from the forest floor. I think I'd have a hard time convincing a werewolf to give up free bones. Why are you so anxious, Fable? In general? I think answering that would take up more time than we have to spare. About taking the quest, it seems to me that you want to take it, but you're trying to talk yourself out of it instead. Oh, well, I don't want to go on that quest. Werewolves may not be the best muses. But it would make a good start for a song, right? The prelude of an epic fable. The protector of the woods. The world. The worms. The worms? They seem like they need protecting. But every time I think about embarking on a quest, and I start to think more deeply about what might happen, all my bones start shaking and I feel dizzy. Is there something making you feel like you might fail? Aside from bloodthirsty werewolf? We don't know what it's thirsty for. It might prefer orange juice. It might. Well, heroes have history, right? Great feats they can look back on to prove their bravery. Inspirational adventures that remind them of the light and the dark. I have the, the opposite of that. Great mistakes and epic regrets. Like the Mer Morgan incident, or my first encounter with the Amaranth Hydra, or the reason why nobody wants to spend time with me. Uh, I want to know what the Mary Morgan incident. Yes, the Mary Morgan incident. Didn't you hear about that? Oh, thank Gaia. Word didn't get around. It was my very first adventure, the chance to finally escape from the daily grind. What happened? An adventure party was on their way passing through the Ashan Grove. Due to, due to the sylvan spirits, it gets fairly foggy at night, and then the fog bears great danger to anyone who isn't acquainted with the spirits who call it home. So then they wanted guidance from a local granger. A merchant up Trigarian recommended me. I agreed to help, of course. My first adventure. Yay! I was so excited, but also very, very nervous. So of course, it had to go wrong. I think it was the nerves. Why were you so nervous? New people, seasoned adventurers, one stronger than the next, all in shining armor and arms to the teeth. I wanted to leave a good impression, but my bad luck got in the way. How did it go wrong? They... I felt their consenting glares on my back as I walked them through the woods. Of course, I don't know whether they actually glared, but my fear got a hold of me and I led them astray. I must have blacked out. I never got lost in the woods before. But this time I did. I couldn't see well. There was blood rushing my ears and I felt dizzy. So for some stupid reason, I led them along a path no one should ever take. Path at riverbanks of the Shiver Mere, home to the Mary Morgan. You know of the Mary Morgan, yes? The wrathful spirit that's known to draw drown men? Not sure if she really differentiates between genders, though. For some stupid reason, I led them right into her arms. I got scared, and in the end, they had to save me. They fought the creature, and we finally found a way out when dawn broke. And the fog emptied away. I couldn't look at them for the rest of the journey. And I silently bid my farewells when we reached the other side of the Ashan Grove. I was too embarrassed to speak. I'm sure I'm still the laughingstock of every one of their gatherings. 
I am... How am I ever supposed to set foot in the adventure world again? To be fair, it could have been worse. I could have led them right into the arms of the Varen Chimera, which resides in the Quag Mongrove. They say it has the taste of adventure, but you didn't. But I didn't. Well, we are learning some stuff for our board, so... I'm wondering, we probably should go ahead and do the first encounter with the Hydra. Whew. There's a lot of conversation. <laughs> but our goal is to also put stuff on the board, so I get it. Uh, okay. Well, just a day after it arrived, the guard the portal to the dream plane Avalon. I wanted to be polite and neighborly, so I brought it some homemade biscuits. I burned them a little in the oven, but I thought since it was fire breath, it wouldn't mind. So I approached the Amaranth Hydra, and I have this whole speech prepared about how I'm looking forward to having it around, and how it green scales match my hat. But it was so tall and intimidating, I forgot all about what I wanted to say. So I just set down the biscuits and smiled awkwardly. It looked at my biscuits and then at me, and it said... By the rivers of the stars stands a man who reads the fire, the fir ferment's past. Some things are a study as the gilded ice. Some things are changing as Leviant the sea. All chimeras hate mice. All hydras love tea. I thought to myself, wow, the amaranth hydra has given me a riddle. A quest. Maybe this shall be my first adventure. But I couldn't figure out the answer, so I left and I tried to solve the riddle for three days. I was too ashamed to set foot in front of it again lest it known that I was not worthy of its wisdom. But then I, I couldn't take it anymore and I ran back, apologized, and begged for the answer. Turns out, that's just how it speaks. I wanted tea. I wanted tea. Did you get it some? Yes. Then you completed its quest. Three days late. If I had, if I had needed an antidote, it would have died. What, have, what haves are about as useful as an antidote when you haven't been poisoned? They change nothing. I suppose you have a point. Okay. Because I'm unlucky. I'm unlucky and whenever good things are supposed to happen, I ruin them. No matter how easy things might be, nothing seems easy enough for me. Imagine there's one nail sticking out in the whole kingdom. Everyone would pass by it except me. I'd get caught on it and rip my coat. Did that happen once? Once, I wish it had been just once. It seems like my life only follows a path that's the m most embarrassing. Or dangerous. Or dangerously embarrassing. The curse of ill luck follows me wherever I go like an adventure companion who secretly wants to kill you. No one wants to hang out with someone who naturally attracts bad things. You're too harsh on yourself, Fable. Am I? See, just last week I wanted to gather fresh flowers. The daffodils are blooming and they make for a nice bouquet, you know? Or hair accessories. They also calm my anxiety when I have them around. But me begging, I confuse them with their evil twin, the weeping Amaryllis. Now guess what I spent the whole day afterwards doing? Weeping? Like a baby, all day long. When I plucked them, they released their spores and I started crying. I suddenly felt all the sadness of the world rush over me. I've never been so heartbroken. I'm sorry, that sounds horrible, Fable. It was... Between the tears and the sobs, I managed to make a tincture of hogweed. It eased the pain, but the tears wouldn't stop until dawn. I'm so silly sometimes. There's nothing wrong with picking flowers. There is if they're the wrong flowers. Imagine if I had offered them to the ventures, or even worse, the hydra. That would have been so embarrassing. I don't think gifting other flowers to make them a little happier is embarrassing. And it would have made for a good story to laugh about together. I don't think they would have laughed about it with me, more at me. Maybe they would laugh with you if you chose not to run away. You seem to assign cruel sense of humor to people that haven't actually shown you such a thing. Not everyone thinks about you the way you think about yourself. That would be nice. Innkeeper, yes. Do you like spending time with me? No, not really. <laughs> oh, but it's my job to spend time with people and be patient with them. Even if I get tired of their complaining sometimes. So don't worry too much about it. I keep listening to your stories and I'll keep making you drinks. I'll also keep being patient with you. You won't notice the difference. That's not very reassuring. Just pretend it was. So let's keep these charades going, all right? Anyways, I don't want this to keep going. You seem to be very insecure. I think that's the biggest problem. But how can I not be when everything touch falls apart? You know that isn't true. You're right. I'm a great gardener. Everything grows around me, but I seem to just get smaller. 
Except zucchinis. I can't figure out how to grow those. So in a way, I'm like a zucchini. I'm insecure because I didn't know what I'm capable of. You'll have to find out then. Like on a quest, for example. Don't you think I'm a little underdeveloped? Do you think that will change my city around? I guess not. Someone has to help those people, right? What if I don't and then no one comes around? What if I'm the only chance they got? What if I'm not? What if there's something better? The best thing you can do is try to help them. So what if another adventurer swings by and they're able to make the situation better? Isn't that a good thing? Four hands are better than two, and who knows, you might even end up forming a party. Oh. And besides, if it's perfect hero they want, they'll be waiting forever. I didn't think about it like that. Maybe I shouldn't decide to give up before I even try. After all, I'm a very fast runner, so if I screw up, I can just run away real quick. That's the spirit. Okay, I fable a great gardener and um, future hero. Charmer of nymphs, I'm going to embark on this quest and save the villagers, and I shall return victorious. Did I do it right? Yes, good job. I leave the quest in your capable hands, brave adventurer. Would you like a drink to aid you in your journey? Yes. Do you have something that can make me more nimble and quiet so that the werewolf won't see me coming? Something with a lot of dexterity. If I want to fight, I'm going to need that surprise round advantage. Or maybe something that can help me with diplomacy. Perhaps it's just a uh, hunger loss lichen after all and it only needs a pep talk and a hug. Maybe we could even be friends. But I would need something with a lot of charisma for that. I will leave the choice up to you. She talks too much. I'm sorry. Just make sure you don't pick a random recipe. Please keep it on one of the abilities I asked for. Remember, your choice can influence my fate. It could change the entire outcome of the quest. But first, I'm sure you're already aware that sorry for backseat mixing. She said so many things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. So she wants two drinks? my okay oh. all right let's do spoken heart oh my word tad bit of that all right there's spoken heart she looks terrified. This should do it. Thank you. I feel much better. Brave farming. No, wait. That sounds like I'm tending to a farm. There are a lot of farmers in Tigerian, and I'm going to protect them all. Or talk to them until they feel better. I'm sure they could use that too. I just hope I don't have to fight anyone. No, it'll be okay. Because of your help, it'll be able to talk myself out of the situation. Thank you again. I think this drink gave me the courage I need to get started. You got this, Fable. I'll try. Have some faith in yourself. Okay, um, I got this. Much better. Oh, I almost forgot. I was thinking about how much your words helped me yesterday and how I'd have to thank you properly if I ever did end up taking a quest. So, I brought you some Phoenix chilies from my garden. They seem like something you might enjoy. They possess natural magical properties. If you want them in the right soil, they can grow to be fire resistant. And consumption can pass that on to mortals like us. Exactly. I thought they might go well with your drinks. Thank you. Thank you, Fable. That's very thoughtful. Since I'm waiting for another shipment of infusions in a few days, I'll take a look at them all together later. Of course, I'm glad you like them. Maybe I'll order a drink with something next time. But first, I have to complete my quest. I see... I'll see your post... I'll see you post-victory. Hopefully, Fable will be alright. I wonder what path their fate took. Maybe a zesty one. I hope I was able to help. Oh, he's back. I still don't know his name. And keep you again, me again, and who are you? Someone who wants a drink. What kind? Drink. Yes, I get it. Could you try being more specific? The spoken heart one tasted fine. Thank you. He loves the spoken heart.
getting good at this. A spoken heart just for you. Maybe it will help you find more words. <laughs> good attempt. Perfectly drinkable. Might make me come back for more. Might not. Thank you. Enjoy. Alright, is there anything quest-wise that I can add? How did I get in there last time? Oh wait, is the day ending or am I? It's night time. Oh! Hi there! Oh, the slime! Careful, you'll step on my cape! Oh, shush. Greetings, travelers. How may I help you? Uh, not another one of those empty babblers. Um, I can probably say I am all but empty. Would you prefer a different line? Um, I'm gonna say I'm all but empty. That's what they all say. Seems they've given you, you some more dialogue options than most, but that don't convince me just yet. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Of course not. Probably forgot to give you enough intellect. Would surprise me if there actually was a brain inside that skull. I'm sure there is. Have you checked? No, but I can assure you I'm different from your average background character. Sure. Uh, I must agree. You look much more delicious than they usually do. Thank you, though I should let you know I'm not on the menu. Don't worry too much about him. He's a tad quirky. I see. That thing on your shoulder, is it quirky too? What thing? Ah, my cape. Your cape? That's not his cape. That green fella is shoulder is an ooze, or what's left of it. And the rest of it is on you? Ah, pretty tough to clean off. Maybe I ask how that happened? You just did. Maybe I can offer you two a drink in exchange for the story and your names. Yes, I love stories. Well, then may I have your name? No, but I shall tell it to you. I'm Sir Alphonse Louis Frederick Duquette Dusong. What? It's long for Kyle. Kyle? Kyle. Well, Kyle, what kind of drink can I offer you? Blood. Or if you're out, I would also settle for something that tastes like blood. Or looks like or looks like it. Red is my favorite color. I'll look for something with red in it. Oh, my Lanta. That was a long, long name. Alright, so... I think that's the only one. Yep, that's the one. We'll draw another, or we'll draw, we'll make another one. All right. Where do I go? Come on. I'm say I'm clicking it, so I'm going. It was being a little finicky. So, almost blood for you, sir. Oh, thank you kindly. That looks delicious. It also tastes delicious. Very alive. Maybe as a chaser, you could let me have a bite. No. Okay. And to whom may I offer the second drink? Rhea Frostgrip. Nice to meet. Yeah, yeah, skip. Just serve me something strong, something that feels durable, tough like a mountain or the caves of Ur. Or one of those frosted lagoon looks close enough. Coming right up. Um, he wants... There it is. Why it took me forever to find that I, is beyond me. Since he said frosted lagoon, you dingleberry. Oh, that was too much. Shit. Um. There you go. I bought it a little too much. A taste of urge just for you. Valued customer number two. 
Oh, are you hitting the placeholder text? Let me try. I see you're many things, but not a liar. Tastes like a pile of rocks, just how I like it. So, Rhea, Kyle, what about those ooze-filled ooze story? Fine, guess you've earned it. All right, picture me, deep in the mountains of Dolmer, with my trusty axe and a good drink by my side. There I was, miming, minding my own business, digging for the good stuff, you know? Hit a gold vine earlier and deem myself the luckiest dwarf of all time. Had a real big old pile of gold. Then suddenly this big ooze comes along and slurp, gone it was. This is a very boring story. Perhaps we could go looking for my cape now. It's, it's nearly sunrise, and... The sun kills ya! <laughs> All right. Did the ooze also eat the cape? Yes. No. Oh. Anyways, I wouldn't call myself the best warrior, but when that ooze slurped me, me gold, I had to do something. So I took me shovel and dug and hit and dug and hit until there was nothing left of the ooze anymore. Well, almost nothing. So did you dig out your gold? Silly food. She dug out me. And guess what he was clinging on to? The gold? Ah, yes. A big old nugget. Should be enough to get me to Boruvia. Uh, perhaps it can even get me a dandy new cape. I don't think so, sunshine. We had a deal. Ah, we did? Please allow me to ask a question. What was that deal again? I get to Boruvia so you, you can participate in your fancy vampire banquet. In return, I get the gold. But what about my cape? Where did you last see your cape? Don't even bother. It's a lost cause. We looked everywhere on our way here. Fought cursed chests, many-eyed monsterites, undead goons. And I started to wonder, where in his life did this man put his cape? Where everyone puts their cape? Do you know where I put me capes? Where? In a wardrobe! Oh. So you can wear it inside the wardrobe land? What? No! Kyle, maybe we could find someone to retrieve your cape for you. We could. Phenomenal. I could put out a quest for you, but for that, we need a little more information. Good luck with that. First, I need to know where the last saw the cape. Um, I was getting ready to go on the annual vampire banquet hosted by Lord Strut in Barovia. While getting dressed, I realized I couldn't find my cape. My first thought, of course, I cannot find it. The cape of invisibility is playing tricks on me. It's quite moody sometimes, which is truly unfortunate when you want to wear it for an important event. We all know important fancy cape is for flaunting your vampire status. Of course. Then what was the last vampire event you wore the cape to? My wedding. Your wedding? When I married my sweet Evelyn, I simply had to wear my most treasured cape to show how important she was to me. Evelyn, the vampire countess Evelyn residing in Morrow Castle? That would be her. Congratulations. Are you still married? Of course not. I hate her every inch of her body turns out she just wanted spit it out leech oh what my cape ah rats here we go again my sweet evelyn stole my cape what now the little mean that little mean vicious beautiful beast her that thief of thieves robbed me of my most precious possession wouldn't that be your heart no i had that taken out centuries ago but my cape i could never live without that Oh, sweet, sweet Evelyn, how could you do this to me? I trusted her with all I had. That's rough, buddy. Perhaps, innkeeper, that's your name, right? Sure. Do you think that's a courageous adventure out here brave enough to retrieve my precious cape for me? I'm afraid that my sweetest Evelyn will kill me on the site if I ever set foot in her villa again. Yes, I think we can find such an adventurer here setting up that search right now. So, where could a brave adventurer find Morrow Castle? Deep past the abyss of dread, at the foot of a mountain range that looks like a witch's bosom, towers the mansion of my dear Evelyn, queen of darkness, temptress of men, flamenco champion of 1467. The right hero should be able to outsmart her and escape with their life. But be weary, she bites, and she may be invisible now. All right, I think I've got everything I need. I'll write up a quest for you. I'm sure you'll have your cape back in no time. I hope so. That reminds me, not another cursed monologue. And keep quickly another drink. I don't think I can make it through another tale of woe without some artificial stamina. I need another lagoon. I'll see that I can do. All right. Another frosted lagoon coming up. I'll have these memorized eventually or not. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. 
Some liquid stamina for a valued guest. Hmm, let me try. You got it right again. I might even last till dayfall with this. Kyle, would you like another drink as well? No, I cannot drink now that I am consumed with thoughts of my love's betrayal. Oh, it ta it ails me so. Everything ails you. The whole way you hear complaining about having to walk. My bat form doesn't work like it used to. I'm out of practice and the slime weighs heavily on my shoulders. And my back is still itchy. By the dragons, could it be because you insisted on sunbathing? Oh, oh right. Innkeeper, do you have a drink to protect me from the sun? Uh, perchance something that would also moisturize my delicate skin? I'm afraid not. Oh. That reminds me, my Aunt Matilda used to harness the power of Chimera saliva for sun protection. A Chimera? A thing, a beast made out of s several animals. Got three heads and all, made by the dragon to guard Gaia, likes to eat people for breakfast. I'm aware, I just didn't know its saliva could be so useful. Ah. If only I hadn't eaten that delicate beach Chimera in the Scarlet Caves, I could have asked it for a sample of its saliva. I'm sure that would have gone over very well. Actually, I might know where to find one. Really? Will you get it to me then? No. Oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Miss Frogstep, dearest Rhea, perhaps we can alter our deal. Oh, nay, forget it. I ain't going. With nothing on me but a shovel and a ooze goop, I'd be no match for such a beast. No problem. I can make it another quest for my trusted board. And when will it be done? Tell me when I can walk among the mortals in the glistening sunlight once more. As soon as Fearless Adventure picks it up and succeeds, especially that part. Splendid, did you hear that? A quest for me. Let's leave it at two. Say, Innkeep, while we wait for someone to do this work for him, do you perhaps have a room or two? Possibly a room without sunlight. Wouldn't want Snow White to go up in flames over here. Sure thing, I've got a couple of barreled up, barred up rooms. You can stay there. How much? You can pay when you leave. Grand. Seems like they give you more personality than usual. Keep it up. Maybe you'll become a real girl one day. Thank you. Enjoy your stay. You too, tasty creature. Alright, so... We need something with a chimera. That wasn't it. Um, Chimera, Chimera. There we go. All right, so we have the Chimera quest. And we have the Vampire Cape. I think it's all those three. All right, so the quests come up as they're available. I don't think we can initiate them. At least I couldn't figure out how to do it. Okay, so we ended day two. Let's go ahead and wrap this up for um, our hour of play. That's usually the time frame that I keep it on. I'm going to continue playing and keep an eye out for another video of our playthrough of Tavern Talk tavern talk again you can get this game over on steam as it released june 20th and let me know what you think about tavern talk are you enjoying the dialogue are you enjoying anything with this game and keep an eye out for more gameplay again thank you to the devs and publisher gentle troll entertainment thank you to future friends who reached out to me and i was able to play and showcase this game let me know what you think down below don't forget the thumbs up subscribe hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos and have a good rest of your day or night wherever you are this is luna galaxy out